once people get into network marketing, maybe first time around or maybe, you know, been in a few times, whatever the case may be, and we have challenges, right? We get out there and we go through the things that all of our leaders tell us to do, and sometimes we hit a few bumps along the way. You know, oftentimes people go through the activity, they go through the motions, and then they kind of get a challenge, whether it's with prospecting, whether it's with presenting, whether it's with, you know, handling the pesky objections, right, that might come your way. Um, maybe it's time management, like they have the work and the family and how do we balance this whole thing and make it work. Um, maybe it's learning how to lead a team. And so we're going to talk about, you know, basically how you can go through that process faster so that you can get to the finish line. So we all kind of have a learning curve that we go through. You remember in junior high, high school, everything was graded on a bell curve? Well, in learning, we have a learning curve that we're going to go ahead and go through. In the beginning, typically it's a little bit more challenging, right? We are learning, you know, everything like we have so much to take in like do you remember the the time when you were new and you just started a brand new job and you were like oh my gosh I have all these people's names to remember I have all of these procedures and manuals and all of this kind of stuff that starts buzzing around in our brain well when you first started network marketing <laughs> same thing okay same exact thing happens is we just have so much stuff coming at us from so many different angles that it can be a little bit overwhelming but after a little while, we start kind of getting it down. We start kind of picking up our flow. And what you'll see that will happen is, you know, before you know it, it you're going to start picking up this info and it's going to start becoming second nature to you. The toughest part is the beginning where everything is new and everything is a challenge and everything is just kind of coming at us at once. Well, a lot of times when people first get started, that's where they're at. They're like, oh, I'm supposed to contact my people. I need to present, you know, uh, they get me all these objections, you know, how do I handle all this stuff, right? And so going through this learning curve as fast as we possibly can is what's going to help the growth in your team. So let's talk about how it is that we can go ahead and do that. So this is a concept that I learned from a gentleman. He actually uh, was a, a gentleman in the field in network marketing for many, many years, and now he owns a network marketing company. So he's a pretty awesome guy, pretty studly guy. And here's how it works, okay? When we first get started, we start learning some stuff, right? So we'll call this learn knowledge, okay? And it's just up here, okay? Do you remember when you were driving? <laughs> Okay, that was such a great example of learn knowledge, right? Because we start and we're like, okay, I know I'm supposed to, you know, the, the yellow line means this, the, the, the dash line means this, I can turn here, I can't turn here, all of this stuff is all up in our head, right? And then the minute you get in your car, <laughs> different scenario, okay? What do we call that? We call that activity knowledge, okay? So you go from, hey, this is in my head, I think I kind of know how this works, to you're actually doing something, and it's a whole different ball game. And so when you go from learn knowledge to activity knowledge, then you start picking up some additional things, right? You're like, oh, if I say that, they usually say this, and that is a bad thing. Or, hey, if I say this, they usually respond this way, and I like that response, and I wanna start seeing more and more of that. So our goal is to run through this learn knowledge, activity knowledge cycle as fast as we can. Okay. What a lot of times people will do is they will number one, get stuck in the learn knowledge part, right? Like they're learning, 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 learning your comp plan, learning your product, learning every ingredient known to man, learning the plastics that, that, that they use to make the stuff and all, you know, or what, or what they're using it as a container. I mean, like they spend all of this time in learned knowledge and what happens? You all know what happens. Go ahead and put a comment there. If you know what happens, nothing happens. <laughs> they never get off a go, right? They're like in procrastination mode, partially fear, right? And partially it's just like, they feel like they have to know everything. And so much of what we know is not from reading it in a book. It's not from watching somebody else do it. It's not from take, trying to take it all in. It's from us doing it ourselves. That is so much of what we know. Just like in the driving example, you know, like you could try and take it in as many different ways that you could watch racing examples or driving examples or, hey, you should turn left here. You should do it like this. You look over your shoulder like this. 
until you get in the driver's seat and you start moving and you have your foot on the gas and it's up to you to put the blinker on and look over your shoulder and do all of that jazz, it's not the same. And so people get stuck in this learn knowledge part of our business and they never get past go, okay? Or we have people that do do the learn knowledge, they get into activity and they're like, oh shoot, this is hard. Nobody showed, nobody told me this is gonna be challenging. Nobody told me I'm gonna have to like get my skills up, right? And then they're kind of like stumped, like they were not expecting it to be that way, right? But it is, it is that way. Like if, if, like we have to think about this too. And part of it is us as leaders or us as people in the profession, we have got to set the stage for what is expected from people. Like telling people that they're gonna come in and, and get to you know six figures and they can do that in three months and all of this kind of stuff. We know that's nonsense. I mean, yes, may one person do it? Yes, they may. But the average person is going to have to come in and run through this cycle many, 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 many times for them to be a professional. I don't know if you've heard of this before, but there's a gentleman, he wrote a book called The Outliers. If you haven't read it or heard it on audio, pick it up. That book is high, has been highly, highly influential in my life. I don't remember the guy's name off the cuff, He's written a bunch of books. All of his books are awesome, but it's called Outliers. And Outliers, basically what they do is he talks in this book about all of these super famous people, the Beatles, uh, you know, Buffett, Gates, all these different people that have done amazing things in their life. And he kind of breaks it down like really systematically. We're like, yeah, they did some stuff, but they had so much timing working for their benefit and they were at a place in their life where they already had so much preparation working in their benefit that when the timing and the preparation met it was like well of course that was going to happen it was almost like inevitable that it was going to happen you should pick that up one of the concepts he talks in that book about is having your 10,000 hours I don't know if you've heard the 10,000 hour rule before but they talk about how basically if you want to be a expert, if you want to be a professional, if you want to be the top 1% of anything, if you want to be amazing, you got to put 10,000 hours in it. Okay. So I don't care if that's 10,000 hours of being a professional in network marketing, being a professional at what it is that you do. When you think about people that are like pianists that have conciertos and all different kinds of stuff, Malcolm Gladwell. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate that. The book is by Malcolm Gladwell. So when you think about people that have done incredible things, he talks about the Beatles in there. He talks about all different people. I, then I haven't gone through the book recently. It's been maybe like seven or eight years. Phenomenal. Pick it up. So in any case, he talks about this 10,000 hours. And what happens is a lot of times us as network marketers, like we get to like hour 40 and we're like, aha, this is hard. I have to learn some stuff. Are you kidding me? And so we don't run through this cycle, but here's what's going to get you to the finish line. My friends, if you want your business to go faster, if you want things to explode, if you want to start seeing a team where every time you open your phone and you check your back office, there's like 10, 20 new people that have joined, your points are going up by the hour. If you want a business that is like that, then here's how you get that done, okay? You take this concept of learn knowledge and activity knowledge and you compress the time frames. You can do this over one year, two years, five years. You can do it over a long period of time. Or you can compress the time frames to where you personally say, you know what, how many cycles per minute can I do, right? You, you know, like your computer, right? It, it's, it's in there spinning. If you have one of the older drives, it has something that's spinning and it has a gazillion cycles per minute. How many cycles per minute, how many cycles per hour, cycles per day can you do on your own learning curve? How fast can you work through this? whether it's learning how to contact, learning how to prospect, learning how to present in a group of people, learning how to handle objections, learning how to handle conflict, learning how to lead a team of people. First, we must lead ourselves, but once we get that down, how do we lead other people, right? How do we do that? Well, we've talked about this in the past. It's Jim Rohn's PDCA, plan, do, check, and adjust, okay? Plan, do, check, and adjust, okay? So the plan is whatever your plan is for your company, okay? And the bottom line of that is we gotta go talk to some people about what you have, okay? So that's the simplest version. That's our plan. Head knowledge, do. Let's get into activity. Get out there and get it done, okay? Then let's check, how do we do? 
Do we have some things that we did awesome that we want to do them on a regular basis? Excellent. Note to sender, right? Let's, let's keep doing more of that. Or on the other hand, do we have some things that it didn't go how we were thinking it was going to go? And if we tweaked it maybe a little bit here or a little bit there, that we could adjust it. A great way, if you're having a challenge in any area of your business right now, whatever it might be, we have a built-in mentoring system. It is the best thing known to man. There are people that pay hundreds and thousands of dollars to coaches. And while that's all fine and dandy, and I think that's a great thing to do, I have coaches that speak into my life, our mentoring system in our company is designed for this process right here. You have a problem, you're like, dude, when I talk to prospects at the store, this is usually what happens. These are the kind of results and I don't like those results. Am I doing something wrong? Is there something I can change so I can get better? If you just consult your upline and you find out, hey, this is where I'm having a challenge. They may say, hey, I want to listen in on a three-way call. Hey, I want to go with you to your next presentation. Hey, when you're contacting, what are you saying? They might run through some things with you so you can say, ah, I'll change that. And then plan, do, check, adjust and then you get back into action. And then doing that process as fast as you possibly can where you are putting action on the board. Like if we're not doing any action, we cannot move this cycle. It's just not gonna go. Like it's like the car with no gas. Like we're not going anywhere without action. Action is the fuel that drives your business. When you have action in your business, then you start seeing results, then you start, start seeing new people joining your team and the whole thing balloons on out from there. So my friends, how was this for you? Was this helpful? <laughs> Give me some feedback. So this is kind of the process for growing as fast as you want to go, as fast as you possibly can go, is by pushing through this cycle at a quicker pace. Now, there's two parts that we have in life. We have how fast are we moving forward, but then we also have some things, perhaps that are maybe from the past, that are holding us back. We got some weight around our ankles. We have some things that that if we do not clear them out, if we don't clean house, they're going to be a stumbling block for us and they're going to not allow us to move forward at the pace that we want to go. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about dealing with our own issues from whatever area that they come with. You know, sometimes we have the fear of rejection. Sometimes we have the fear of loss. Sometimes we have, you know, we're so afraid of what other people are going to think or maybe we had a hurt situation and we're like, ah, that happened and I don't want to deal with that anymore. Whatever the case is for you. We got to move through that if we're going to get you to where you want to go. We got to move through that if we're going to get you walking across stage at your next company convention, you know, ranking on up and helping your team and getting a huge trophy and getting all of the love and the accolades from your company owners and from your team. So I have something that will help you. If you click on the link that's listed in the description, this is a 10 step process. Now this process that you're going to go through is going to help you work through all of that, the muck and the mire and all the things that you don't want in your life. And it will help you clear that stuff out of your life so that you're ready to run this at a faster pace. You're ready to get out there, get some things done, put some numbers on the board, put some checks in your bank account and get to where you really want to go. So that's my free gift to you. I hope you enjoy it. Definitely send me a message because I know you'll have success in your life and I'd love to hear your stories. All right, my friends, take care. Be blessed. I will see you all next time. If this was helpful, feel free to share the replay. Once this is uploaded and posted, you can hit the share and it will go out to the people that you know. So see you all then. Take care. For more great training and to receive your free bonus training, the 10 step process for getting out of your own way and finally rank advancing. Visit summergeronimo.com.